In this video, I will show you how to troubleshoot GPU crashes when using Unreal Engine 5. This issue commonly occurs if you are using older GPU versions such as the GTX 1060 or GTX 1080T, just like the ones I am using in this tutorial project. Alright, the first solution is to install GPU tuning software such as MSI Afterburner. In the power limit fan setting, change it to 50%. Then click apply at the bottom and click save. GPU crashes usually occur if the power supply we are using is not good enough to fully utilize a high powered GPU. Next step is to adjust the TDR, timeout detection and recovery delay. Please open the Unreal documentation on a search engine to find information about TDR delay settings. Here's how you do it. Press Windows plus R on your keyboard, then open Regedit and search for the path location as described in the Unreal documentation. At this stage, we will create two registry keys. In my case, I used a value of 120 for both data. Then, the final step is to replace the data file in the Unreal installation and modify a few lines of C++ code. You can find this method in the Unreal forum. Alright, first download this DLL file. I have saved it in the project file so you can download it again. Okay, once the file is downloaded, copy the file and open the Unreal Engine installation folder. We will put this file in the Win64 folder. Then, if we scroll down a bit, there are instructions to modify a few lines of C++ code in the Unreal installation. Open that file using a text editor. Then copy this reference line and paste it in the search bar to make it easier to find. Then change the value from 0 to 1 and save. Next, in the private folder, under the Windows folder, open that file in a text editor and edit it according to the instructions. To make it easier, I simply copied this reference code and pasted it in the search bar of the text editor and replaced the old code with the provided new code. Here, I have already made the changes. Initially, the code here was like the reference code, but I have replaced it. After finishing, don't forget to save the file. 
Next, let's check if the path tracer is active or not. Let's open a new project in Unreal. Choose the architecture template and select the ArchVis template. Set the project location and adjust the project name. If you are using this template for the first time, there will be some loading processes to go through. Alright, now let's check the lid button at the top. It turns out the path tracing button is available. Let's perform a test render using path tracing by pressing the path tracing button. If path tracing is active, it means that Unreal Engine 5 installation and the GTX card can be used for ray tracing and lumen. 